Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. Cardano yeah, holds now around the 107-108 dollar level. Um, so it did get all the way down nearly to the dollar. Came down exactly to one dollar and four. It's very slight. I think it was 1039 or something. Um, yeah, so it has come down quite significantly from up here. Had a double top and we came down quite substantially. The way the price is coming down here at the moment, for me personally, it comes across as a little bit too impulsive. Yeah, so overall we have not yet seen here a clear five wave move. It's possible. It can already be counted as a first five wave move. Am I skeptical about it? Yes. Um, and the problem has to do with the Fibonacci extension. So we talked about it, that there is a possibility that we can count this as a one, two, here possibly a three, four, five. Alternatively, you can count it here as a three, four, five. Does it work from the FIB extensions or Fibonacci retracements? Not ideally, um, not ideally, yeah. And in my opinion, that way four was a bit too short and that way five wasn't long enough, wasn't bullish enough. So in the end, the price stopped at the 126 level and has turned down. We talked about it here. That is why I closed my long position here um, without a loss because I thought the risk is getting bigger and bigger. Made you aware here. I had a long position open here um, and I didn't want to risk it. So I closed it, that one. Um, and since then we've dropped down. But, you know, there is now the possibility that this was a five wave move. And if it was a five wave move, you would need to get down at least to the one dollar level. Yeah, in terms of Fibonacci retracements. That is where we would need to get to because a wave two. So this here would have been then a wave one already. And the wave two would have to come down at least to the one dollar mark um, for a possible wave two. That is exactly here the 50% retracement level, one dollar. We haven't quite reached it. A um, bit too far away from that in my opinion actually. We've come very close but we still would need to see further downside for it to be a wave two and then to start in a new wave up um, and that would be a wave three then. Now that is one possibility um, that would assume we ideally come even lower here. Yes, the other possibility is that we have seen here already uh, not a five wave move yet and we still have the possibility to move higher from here. Yeah, so we can certainly count this as a first um, as a wave one, two, three. So let's let me show you one that here would be the wave one top coming down in a wave two would come all the way up in a wave three here. That would be the other way. And then we would come down in a wave four now and move up then in a wave five. Now this wave four is, is coming down a little bit too far for me. It's come down a little bit too far for me already. So I th see this scenario as fairly unlikely yeah, um, that there will be another leg up in a wave five before we then get the ABC down. The problem with that is that um, first of all, you have to have here an overshooting wave B. So the way to see this would be that we have a um, so if could you one two then we would have and you can't it's hard to see but we have an a b c coming down here and then we have our wave three but that overshooting wave b not a great fan of it um possible but not a great fan of it the, the bigger problem is um that that wave four is is coming down a little bit too much so we can calculate the fibonacci retracements of that wave four and we nearly, yeah, we're already dropping here. If I make it like that, you're coming down a little bit too much. You're below the 38.2 FIB level. So the 38.2 FIB level is normally what you would ideally expect for the way four. It's coming down a little bit too much. Technically still possible. You could come down all the way to the wave one top in that wave four. And that would be here at 94, um, here at 94 cents. Yeah. So this would be the wave one peak, no, 93. That would be still possible in that wave four te technically, yeah, to come down into that level. Um, but yeah, generally, generally coming down a little bit too much in my opinion, yeah. Not a great fan of it, not a great fan of it. Um, so two possible, yeah, bullish scenarios here. However, there is of course a bearish one and that bearish scenario would see 
all of this move here in a very much three wave like fashion so that all of this here and it is actually currently what I primarily believe to be honest an A B C where we would then come down in another five wave move down and maybe eventually will hit my target area here which starts at 55 cents bear in mind it doesn't need to get there Cardano has retraced enough in this correction to fulfill the minimum requirements of the correction. We talked about that many times. However, because Cardano has not yet managed to break above the 163 level, the downside potential is still very much there. We talked about that, that this 163 level is so important. And um, if we're not above that, that, we are still in this potential downside scenario. And yeah, what has come up here from Cardano so far has not been too bullish. There is this possibility and that would be pretty much in line with that wave count that I just showed you the bullish one. Yeah, any one of them that we have here, this inverse head and shoulders that is still possible, but I think it will get very much unlikely if we drop. Yeah, if we drop below that 93 cent level until then, that inverse head and shoulders, in my opinion, is still good. If we drop below it, that would basically invalidate that immediate uptrending scenario for me. And yeah, I, I'm even I'm even thinking about seeing this here again as my primary scenario that we come down straight away. To be fair, I've never talked about a different primary scenario that is still actually very much at play here because we have not moved above 163. So this has remained my scenario. And even though I said, yes, upside potential, of course, is here. But until we break above 163, that is a very, very relevant, structurally relevant level around that um, around that wave four up here until we break above that you have not we cannot be confident that the low is already in it's possible yeah cardano has fulfilled the minimum requirements for the correction but it's not it's not confirmed and therefore we are at the moment in a space where we don't really know it's not getting tricky you know throughout the whole downtrend i've been telling you not only for cardano but for other altcoins that we are going to see lower prices now we are in this potential turnaround space where yeah, we can go up, but we can also go down a little bit lower. Yeah, because the minimum requirements for the corrections have been completed for many altcoins. And now theoretically they can move up already, but we now need to see how the market decides. And the, for me, it is pretty much that we are in the last meters of the correction. Yeah, if we are still in the correction, we are in the last meters of the correction. Um, and I believe it's good for everybody if the prices come down once more, because a lot of people I think were as it at least felt like in the comments, a lot of people were surprised that we have seen these strong moves up because even, you know, even if Cardano did um, only, yeah, only, but it was quite good already. But let's say if Cardano made from that 75 cent low here around 65%, yeah, in, in a couple of weeks, which is actually amazing if you compare it to other asset classes. Um, a lot of people were surprised by this strong move up, but this is what happens yeah we have come down very strongly we talked about this descending wedge strong breakout pattern and we need to be ready and therefore my strategy was to dollar cost average in at these lower prices this is a time that might never come back yeah yes we we can drop lower again but we might never um after our new all-time high there will be another all-time high in my opinion um and maybe even this year our, and after our all-time high we may never come back down to these levels okay we can come close, but we might never see a price below a dollar again. Yeah, j just, just to mention that com compared to other, you know, stocks and shares when they started ten years ago, certain companies where they are now, you you may never see these prices again. And um, so you get these corrections, time for me to buy, yeah, and then taking profits when we have um, when we are on our way to new all time highs. But for now, it is pretty much this sort of in between space between. Yeah, we, we can already go up because we have done what we need to do to complete the correction. And there is still downside potential. Yeah, so it is very hard to say. There are different scenarios. We I've gave you the different levels here that are important and we now need to wait for the market to decide. That is my view on Cardano at the moment. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.